In this example, I'm going to explain how to find trig function values of quadrantal angles. Quickly reviewing, a quadrantal angle is an angle in standard position whose terminal side lies on the x-axis or the y-axis. And in this problem, I need to find the six trig functions for 90 degrees. So first of all, drawing 90 degrees in standard position, the vertex is going to be at the origin. The initial side is along the positive x-axis. My angle is positive. I'm going to rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. So that is going to give me my terminal side lying on the positive y-axis. There is my angle of 90 degrees. Now to find the six trig function values, I'm going to need a point on the terminal side of my angle. Well, there are an infinite number of points on the positive y-axis. It doesn't matter which one I pick, I'm just going to pick an efficient one. Remember, every point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of zero, and I'm going to pick the easy y value of 1. So for this point, x is 0, y equals 1. r is the distance of this point from the origin, which you can see is also 1 unit. But if you prefer, you can find r using the equation r equals the positive square root of x squared plus y squared. Now I know x, y, and r for this point. I can find all six trig functions. The sine function is equal to y over r. y is 1, r is 1, so it's 1 over 1, which is 1. So the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. The cosecant of 90 degrees is the reciprocal of the sine function. It's r over y. So that's going to equal 1 over 1, which is 1. So that is the cosecant of 90 degrees. Next is the cosine of 90 degrees. Defined in terms of x, y, and r, it's x over r. x was 0, r was 1, 0 divided by 1 is 0. So the cosine of 90 degrees equals 0. And its reciprocal, the secant function, the secant of 90 degrees is going to be r over x, which is 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. So the secant of 90 degrees is undefined. Next, the tangent of 90 degrees, that's going to be y over x. y was 1, x was 0, 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So the tangent of 90 degrees is also undefined. And lastly, the cotangent of 90 degrees is going to be x over y which is 0 over 1, which is 0. So the cotangent of 90 degrees is 0. The last thing I want to mention is what happens if I had a different quadrantal angle. I'd use this exact same procedure here. I just have a different point on the terminal side. So if my angle was 0 or 360 or any coterminal angle with those, the point I would pick would be 1, 0. 180 degrees, it'd be negative 1, 0. 270 degrees, the point I'd pick is 0, negative 1. 
For each of these points, r is equal to 1, I'd know x, y, and r, and then I could find all six trig functions.